Hey guys, welcome back, welcome back to our channel. In case if you are new to this channel, means please subscribe to our channel. Well, in this video, let's have a look on a best PDF editor. Recently, I have actually searched for the best PDF editor and uh, finally I found a best PDF editor and also using this PDF editor software, you can able to convert the PDF from PDF to text, word and the PPT and as well as from the word to PDF, image to PDF like that. So it has a lot more utilities features. Well, now in this video, let's have a closer look of this PDF editor. So this is a PDF editor. So it's a Swift do PDF editor. So so you can just go to the swiftdo.com so i have given the link in the description so it's actually completely free only and there is also a pricing for using the complete features so once you actually go to this website so this is how it actually looks like so this swiftdo pdf editor it's not only a pdf editor and they are also doing the pdf converters too and for converting the pdf there is a no need of installing the software so in case if you want to convert your pdf means so directly on online it you can easily able to convert but you no need to install the software so here is a sum of the pdf conversion so for converting from pdf format means so that is a pdf to word pdf to excel pdf to ppt and image cad and html formats are available and in case if you are converting to the pdf means so word to pdf excel to pdf cad and image to pdf formats are available and for this online pdf converter so there is no registration like that so you can able to use this free service for up to two documents every 24 hours so in case for today you actually converted two files means and tomorrow you can able to convert the another two files so like that it's a free service so firstly to convert this just to click on the what conversion you need whether pdf to word or pdf to excel like that and after that you have to just click on the choose file option and then you have to choose the required file and just click on that open so once you selected the file the file has been converted so after converted that particular file will be asked for the download so you can so now once the convert is successful you can easily download that particular file so it's a online free pdf converter and as well as it actually works for both pc and mobiles so right from the mobile also you can able to convert the pdf and it's a online converter and as well as you can able to use in the software also the swiftdo software is actually doing a pdf editor as well as a pdf converter and uh, this swiftdo software is a light in weight and as well as the ui is very simple but it comes with a lot of utility tools so let's have have a look on this pdf editor you can easily able to download this swiftdo software just to click on this free download and after that you can easily able to download and the file size is very light in weight so you can easily able to use that and once you download and install the means so, so this is how the swiftdo pdf editor is actually looks like so on the front so here is a create open so you can able to create your own pdf document and after that so here is the editing the pdf document and converting the pdf document to other formats like word and image and you can also merge the two pdf files and that is also pdf split tool is also available you can able to uh, convert a single pdf uh, file into a two pdf files like that and also you can compress the pdf so, so first of all let's have a look on the edit pdf so in case if you want to edit your pdf means it's a very simple and at the same time it comes with the best utilities tools so first of all once you actually opened any pdf files so in case if you want to edit means so I just show you so in case if you want to edit the text means so just to click on this edit option and after that just to click on the where you want to edit so now I am clicking on this area so there is a local player so that's that is the default text available in this PDF so in case if I want to uh, change a text means so I can easily able to change a text like this and I can easily able to save that and one more thing is that uh, so once you actually click on any of that uh, text you can able to edit in the default font style and default font size like that which will actually create a accuracy on editing the PDF and also while clicking on this area so now the font style has been changed so based on the area you are clicking the font style has been changed and and the what font style is actually used in the default PDF file you can able to edit in that font style itself like this feature will actually gives you better accuracy for on editing the PDF files so and there is no one can able to find out so whether you edited this PDF or not like that so and the next thing is that you can able to replace a image also and also one more thing is that in case if you are having a PDF files so in the PDF files that will be image means you can able to save that particular image 
image also once you actually finish the edit text just click on this exit option and after that in case if you want to save any one of the image in that pdf means so just click on that image and after that just right click you can save that particular image in any pdf files and in case if you want to replace the image means so just click on any image there will be a pen icon here just click on that and here is the option replace image and there is also a crop image and you can also rotate the image like that so just click on the replace image option and just select the image you want and just click on the open so that particular image has been replaced with the new image so like that you can able to edit the pdf with the text and as well as with the image also and as well as you can also insert a new text and then here is a whiteout option so this will actually helps to omit any on any of the particular area so just to click on this whiteout option and here you can able to choose the colors you want so just to click on the white or something and here you can able to just drag like this so and after that that particular section omitted completely so once you actually done that you have to save that then only that particular thing as will actually take changes and also in the pdf you can able to add the image and link and you can also crop that any particular image and you here is a page setup option so you can set up the page whether you need a a4 size or what size you need like that and the orientation and then uh, custom you can also make a custom size as per the width and the height you have so based on that you can able to do the page setup so these are all the thing and at the top here is some more thing so here is a view option so it's a generally uh, normally you can view the pdf and then so here is a hand tool so once you click on the hand tool means so it will actually uh, scroll down the uh, pdf files and here is some other tools so actual size so you can see the what is the actual size of the pdf here and then uh, fit to the page you can fit the page and you can click on the full screen also is available and then uh, so here is a you can rotate right or rotate left then uh, here is a theme option you can able to change the theme and then a snapshot you can, in case if you want a, any one of the particular pdf slide to be take a snapshot means you can easily make a screenshot so you can also do a uh, some of the customization here so you can just draw a rectangle and you can add a text to that like that and after that just click on the okay and that particular file will be saved so then here is a slideshow you can make a slideshow also and next in case if you are actually creating a new pdf uh, file means so here is having a uh, some more uh, lot of tools so you can able to uh, write a text here so what are the text you need here is a typewriter and then here is the arrow tools so you can use the arrow tool so like this and there is a lot of shapes also available then here is the shape tool you can draw any shapes as per your need so there is a rectangle oval like the shape and then a pencil tool and then note tool stamp tool and attachment you can add any one of the attachment and here is the eraser tool you can erase any one of the things like this so the eraser tool is also looks good so these are the new uh, in case if you are actually creating a pdf file means so these are all the tools are actually available so using these tools you can able to create a new pdf file and uh, as well as we are already seen the edit pdf section so in case if you want to edit your pdf means so what you basically need so the good text editor so it has a good text editor so you can able to edit the pdf files with the default text formats available in that pdf file so you can able to use that same text style text font and text color like that you can able to use what text format is actually used in that default pdf file you can able to use that text format for uh, editing a pdf file so these are all the good thing and then a convert so you can able to convert a pdf file you can use this swift to pdf editor as a default application for your pdf format so using that you can able to convert any pdf files to a word excel and ppt and image so pdf to image means so nothing but in case if you are having a pdf files with uh, 54 pages means so then after you are clicking on the start button so you will get a 54 different images so which are all really good and you can also give you a page range so for example in a pdf file if you actually want any one of that uh, particular page only you want a image format means you can change that so here is a format that is a png jpg so what format you need just select that and click on the start so that particular file has been converted to image so i am just clicking on the one to two so i want the two 
uh, part of i want a two page of this pdf file to be converted to the image format so just click on the start and that's it and after that just click on the open so in the pdf files you will get the first two slide as a image format so this is the first two slide so i'll get in the image format so this is all the very good thing so and it's a very good features and there is one more thing is that it's all free only you can freely be able to use this so here is also some more options like each page in a separate image or selected page in a image file like that you can able to do that so these are all the some of the good features and in case if you want to convert your pdf to ppt means you can able to do that in case if you are a so currently it is a pdf format you want a ppt format means you can easily convert uh, whether all the pages or a particular pages to a ppt and you can edit in the microsoft office so all the most microsoft office related formats is available so like word excel and ppt so you can also convert to image and convert to text like that so and you can also convert to html and you can also convert a image to pdf and any office files like a word files or excel file or a ppt files to pdf format and you can convert your cat format to a pdf format so like that you can able to do lot more convert option is available here and then pages so once go to the page option so what are how much pages is actually available so all the pages will be list down and once you go to the advanced option so here is a one more additional features are available like encryption you can able to encrypt a pdf uh, file so in case if you want to encrypt means you can encrypt the so here is a open password so in case if anyone open your pdf file means so so there will be ask for a password and there is also one more option owner password once you click on this owner password so here is a some of the permission for each section for example they can able to open a file but they can't able to print the file so it's like that you can able to customize the encryption so these are all the good features so for print and in case of someone copying or editing like that means so you can able to customize the encryption so that no one can able to uh, print or copy or edit he may actually open the file but he can't able to print that particular document so that is the thing so like that you can able to do so whether you can uh, you can choose the destination so once you untick that you can choose the destination you can also replace the file with the original file so you can select your wish here so like that you can able to do that and one more thing is that watermark you can add a watermark to your uh, pdf file so here is some of the most used watermark so once you click on that means so just click on the uh, replace now all the pdf pages has been watermarked so these are all the good thing and here is a compression and signature and you can change the background image also just click on the add background just to change the color you want so click on the ok now the background color of the pdf format has been changed so like that you can able to do lot more stuff using this uh, swift to pdf editor so it's uh, actually a free only and also there is a pricing also so it has a three levels of pricing one is a monthly subscription and then an annual subscription so these are all the two most popular so monthly subscription means eight dollar per month and in case yearly means it is a 41.4 usd per year so it has a lot more features so in case if you go for an annual subscription means so you can access all swift do features and you can able to two devices uh, uh, simultaneously and unlimited device switches per year and then free upgrade service so in case if any new feature is actually comes means all this upgrade can be usable for that year and they are also providing a one month of free trial plan so while you are actually creating your account you will get a free 30 day trial so you can use that and the creating your account is also so good so just to put a email address and create your own password and you will get your verification code through the email address and just to create a uh, and just to create your account in swifto so and you will get a 30 day free trial and using that 30 day free trial you can able to use all the features in the swifto you can edit a pdf you can convert a pdf and you you can do lot more as per your wish and there is also a money back guarantee you can cancel the swifto pdf editor uh, uh, premium subscription anytime within a 30 day of period so these are all the some of the good things of this swifto pdf editor so overall this swifto pdf editor it's actually a light in weight so this software is actually comes with a under 10 mb of size as it look at the ui it's a very simple only but it's having a powerful utility tools so 
so you can create a pdf you can edit a pdf and you can convert your pdf so it's a three in one pdf software and there is also a online pdf converter too you can convert your pdf through online itself whether you are whether you are using your mobile or pc so just to go to the swiftdoop.com and just to go to the convert pdf option and there you can easily convert your file from pdf to word excel ppt like that and from word excel to pdf so these are all the good things of this swiftdoop pdf editor so it's a really a good software and as well as a good online pdf converter well now that's it for today video and hopefully if you guys like this video hit the like button and what's your thoughts on this swiftdo pdf editor let me know in the comment section below and in case if you are already using this swiftdo pdf editor means let me know in the comment section below and that's it for today video and thanks for watching this video guys